Hi, I'm Eric Souther. Hi, I'm Benjamin Rosenthal. And our artwork, Body Yadi Yadi, Destabilizing the Surveilling of Queer Bodies, can be seen at the Art Price Clubhouse at downtown Grand Rapids to Fulton Street. Why do you do art, Benjamin? What do you like? Why do I make art? Well, I make art because I feel compelled to, commu to communicate with a wide range of publics on the issues that are endemic to my own community as a member of the LGBT community and also as a media artist engaged in um, how technology helps us extend our bodies and experiences and sensations outside of our, our homes, outside of our um, corporeal existence. I think for me it's, it's and a lot of similarities but it's, it's about exploring technology and what it can offer that's different than corporate America concerns and looking for a pedagogical experience that can share new ways of seeing and, and thinking. Well, what inspires you, Eric? Well, I mean, this is a collaborative piece, so I think you inspire me quite often, and it's you push me into new spaces and new ways of thinking. Um, you know, we, we did motion capture for this piece and AI, and it, you know, it got really fun and, and weird. Uh, uh, most of the textures that you see in our piece is all of our own bodies, so we really got to explore everything from three, you know, scanning materials of, from our bodies, but also like putting our own bodies in the virtual bodies and then also AI processing. So the, the processes that led us to the development of the work was really fun for me. Yeah, I feel very similarly that the collaborative process is so deeply inspiring to me because it continues to push the boundaries of my own limitations and what I might think is possible um, the way you view the world, the way I view and how we sort of engage with each other, both in space and in the studio, um, over a period of, uh, over a year at this over point. Over a year. Yeah. Um, so I find that part inspiring. What do you think art can do for people, Eric? I think it's very similar why I make art. It's, it's the same kind of answer is, is new ways of seeing and thinking. And I know that seems pretty um, sad, already but it's it's very true I, I, I believe in it wholeheartedly and I think the biggest thing that I'm not maybe saying is it it allows a community to come together around certain ideas and processes and and have conversations so I think community is one of the biggest reasons I, I do art. Yeah. You? I, I feel very similarly I think that that art and particularly our project allows people to see themselves who might otherwise not feel a sense of uh, ownership of public space, their bodies in space, um, by sort of questioning the supremacy of our physicality or physical experience and connection. Mm -hmm. um, we can create space for new kinds of bodies, particularly outside of cis, white, um, heteronormative experiences. And so I think we do that in this work. But and all general, the bodies we have in the piece are non-binary, they're yeah. fragmented, yeah. Uh, they get at this non-human aspect that we've discussed and talked about in relationship to the the environment that they live in, those boundaries are very porous and they kind of connect yeah. inter interchangeably because the environments themselves have, are wrapped in human skin and, and body and hair. And <laughs> so. Well, in a way, I think that, that the environments allow us to, I, in short, art, artists can change the world, right? And how we view the world and how we experience each other. So, Absolutely. thank you for doing this with me. Thank you.